So here we've got avoir, to have, that's our auxiliary, when we're using the passé composé. J'ai, tu as, il a, elle a, nous avons, vous avez, ils ont, elles ont. Can you pause the slide in a moment? And I want you to put the English next to the French in your books in the correct order because je does not mean he has. So sort all the English words uh, translations out. Try and do it without any support because you've uh, worked many times on Quizlet now with this verb. Pause the slide now and put them in the right order. Here are the answers. Mark in green, correct in purple. And we'll move on to the next slide. Here, you've got um, six verbs in the present tense. Je joue, je regarde, je mange, je prépare, j'aide, je réserve. All ER verbs, which I'd like you to put into the passé composé, the perfect tense. The first one's been done to you. You've got the je, you've got the air, which is the avoir bit, the auxiliary, and jouer, the past participle. The e accent aigu tells you it's a past participle. So pause the slide, look at how the first one's been done, and it shouldn't take you very long to do the remaining five. And here are the answers. Mark in green, correct in purple. J'ai regardé, j'ai mangé, j'ai préparé, j'ai aidé, j'ai réservé. So here you've got full sentences that need to be put into the perfect tense, please. So you're going to do, you're going to do it this way. You're going to write je regarde un film, for example, for number one, I watch a film, and you're going to put the English next to it. So je regarde un film, next to it, I watch a film, or I'm watching a film. Then you're going to write what you think it should be in the perfect tense. J'ai regardé un film, and next to it, I watched a film. Do the same for the other five, so that you've got the French and the English next to each other translated. Pause the slide, then when I give you the answers, you mark it in green and you correct in purple. I ate a cheeseburger, j'ai mangé un cheeseburger, I ate a cheeseburger. J'écoute de la musique, I'm listening to music. J'ai écouté de la musique, I listen to music. Je joue au foot, I play football. J'ai joué au foot, I played football. Je regarde un match de tennis. I'm watching a tennis match. J'ai regardé un match de tennis. I watched a tennis match. Uh, mark in green. Correct in purple, please. Right, for this slide, you've got the present tense written out already and you have got to put it um, put each sentence into the past tense, but note they're not all je anymore. So it's pretty straightforward because you've actually got support right in the middle of the slide. So I will give you the answers in a moment on one slide. Um, so just pause it and uh, please change them into the perfect tense. Translating them into English as, as uh, on a previous slide. And then I'll give you an extension. So for the extension, you've got two choices. You either don't move on to the next slide so that you can't see 
the present tense and have a go at putting the verbs into a different part of the verb. I'll tell you that in a minute. I want you, basically, what I want you to do is to use the whole paradigm of avoir because you've learnt it. So I want you to change number one and two into the new part of the verb. I want you to change number three into the il in the plural. I want you to change number four into l in the plural. And number five into vous. Both in the present tense and in the perfect tense. Now, if you can't remember your ER verb in the per present tense, you've got two ways of doing it. You look it up or you go on to the next slide and get the answers. The choice is yours. So I'm moving on to the next slide now so you can see what I mean. I've given you support again. So go ahead and turn them all into the perfect tense, translating them into English. Here we go. Right, so here is the second half of the, of the um, exercise. Uh, it's the verbs that are in the plural, the first, second and third person plural. So if you haven't already put them in the present tense, because you couldn't remember the present tense, here it is. Nous mangeons une pizza. Remember with manger, you have to put an E after the G with nous to soften it. Otherwise it would be mangon, it would make no sense. Nous regardons la télé, ils jouent au foot, elles dansent en boîte, vous visitez le musée. Put them into the perfect tense, translate them into English, and then you're going to be marking them in green and correcting them in purple. And finally, taking a picture of some of your work, especially the last two slides, to show me how well you've done. And you will all get rewarded with achievement points. So here are the answers. J'ai mangé une pizza, I ate a pizza. J'ai regardé la télé, I watched TV. Il a joué au foot, he played football. Elle a dansé en boîte, she danced in a nightclub. Tu as visité le musée, you visited the museum. Extension. Nous avons mangé une pizza, we ate a pizza. Nous avons regardé la télé, we watched TV. Ils ont joué au foot, they played football. Elles ont dansé en boîte, they danced at the nightclub. Vous avez visité le musée, you visited the museum. Mark in green, correct in purple, send me a picture of your work. Well done everybody, au revoir.